This is the artist, Friedensrich Hundertwasser. He was a painter, architect, and ecologist, born in 1928 in Vienna, which is in a country called Austria, on the continent of Europe. Austria is located near Italy, Switzerland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic, and Germany. He said about his paintings that if an artist is not completely surprised at what he is painting, then it isn't a good picture. I want to be surprised by my own pictures, he said. I want to keep on discovering my pictures. Painting is something tremendous. It gives us the possibility of penetrating unexplored regions which are far, far away from us. He means the imagination. He also said, when I paint, I don't try to force the process. I allow myself to be led. That way, I don't make mistakes. What he meant by that is that he painted from his mind, his imagination, and his feelings. So he didn't think that any mistakes could happen because that's what his brain wanted him to make. He was also an architect who designed houses. He felt that houses can be built in lots of different ways. They can be tall, long, wide, round, square, a single color, or all the colors of the rainbow. They can be built of stone, bricks, metal, glass, clay, wood, or straw. On his journeys, he came across all sorts of different houses, which inspired him to design his own. The most important thing for him was always the connection between man and nature. He said, a good picture is when the picture is full of magic, when you can feel the happiness in it, when it makes you laugh or cry, or when it makes something happen. It should be like a flower or a tree. It should be like nature. It should be that we miss it when it isn't there. He said that in nature, there are no straight lines drawn with a ruler. He didn't like straight lines. He believed that whenever we see a straight line, we feel a little uncomfortable because it is not natural. He thought that straight lines make us unhappy and make us believe that we are part of a man-made world. They make us forget that we are a part of nature. In nature, everything, every flower, every snowflake, blade of grass is unique. There's never a second one which is exactly the same as the first. Every object is special. With people, it's the same. Each person is unique, and there will never be another one who's exactly like him or her. Hundertwasser didn't like straight lines, but he was fascinated by spirals. Spirals happen all the time in his pictures. He painted them all of his life. He saw the spiral as a symbol of life and nature. Symbols are signs which stand for something else. Like, for example, when you see a heart, you think of love. He thought that his paintings and life itself grew like a flower or like a spiral turning around and around and on and on forever. First, we're going to write your name and your teacher's name on your paper, then flip it over so it's on the back. Then you're going to use your crayon and draw three to five different size circles. Then you're going to decorate those circles however you want. Some might include spirals. Then you can add a background using different kinds of lines. Just let your imagination take you on a journey. Try your best to use as few straight lines as possible. You can use them, but think of Hundertwasser in the way that he loves spirals and curves. Then you're going to color in any small details that you think will be tricky to paint with your crayons. I would say those are things that are smaller than your thumb. 
Then the last step is that we are going to paint our picture in using watercolors. So I'm going to paint my background and those circle flowers that I made in my picture. Remember, Hundertwasser loved color and things that were a little bit abstract. Remember that something abstract means something that might be inspired by real life or maybe the imagination, but it definitely doesn't look exactly like anything that is super realistic. Abstract art uses line, shape, and color to create a picture. Have lots of fun and use your imagination.